Welcome to foodporn.net. there welcome back to my channel my name is Kelsey and I have an absolutely terrible British accent <laughs> it's actually a more of a cross between Australian and like Midwestern I would say crikey today I am opening up the gates to my private garden and inviting you all to a fully vegan afternoon tea party because my friends never want to come drive 30 minutes to hang out with me so I need to bribe them with food and drinks this video is gonna give you all of the tools recipes and tea related puns that no one asked for so that you can throw your very own fully vegan tea party before we get started I'm I'm gonna remind you to subscribe to my channel for more videos every Meatless Monday. Like this video and follow me on Instagram. If you don't do any of those things, that's cool too. I'll just have to find validation within myself, I guess. Now, what exactly is afternoon tea? A traditionally English pastime, afternoon tea is basically where rich people get together and eat an assortment of finger food off of a very expensive tiered platter. No, not the one that you got from Amazon for $20. Definitely not that one. It was first created by a spoiled princess who was too hungry to wait until dinner to eat. So she insisted someone bring her snacks every day at one o'clock. Well, I can't say I don't relate to that. And thus began the tradition of her inviting all of her friends over for finger foods, tea, and gossip about all the local wenches in town, which are exactly my intentions when I host brunch. And that's the tea. <laughs> Thankfully, England gave us one of the most treasured events for us white girls, which is great because literally every other cuisine that they eat is gross. Did you guys know that a standard British breakfast is a can of beans and a piece of toast? You guys are psychopaths. So why am I doing this? The answer is no, I'm not British. I'm an American, damn it. But instead of harping on the past and holding grudges about all that taxation bullshit, I've decided to put whatever happened in Boston aside and celebrate the great thing that the Brits have done for our country, like giving Meghan Markle back to us. Once upon a time, this small town girl went to the big city of London with her best friend on a spring break vacation. Little did she know that the weather in London is fucking cold, especially in March. And she did not pack the proper jacket, which absolutely sucked. But all of that didn't matter when she stepped into the brunch mecca that is Sketch, where she ate a fully vegan afternoon tea meal and spent well over $200 within an hour and a half. The point I'm trying to make is that I didn't fully recognize how much I loved brunch until I did it the London way. And because I can't get on a plane right now and visit that beautiful, beautiful place, I can attempt to created in my own home. Well, in my mom's home. I'm just a squatter. And eat and drink myself into a coma, but do it in an extremely classy way. Are we ready to get started? Minky's up. Although you can serve whatever finger foods you want, the standard formula for afternoon tea includes three courses. The first course, located on the bottom tier, are your savory foods, which are usually mini sandwiches. The second course, located on the middle tier, are your baked goods, such as scones and breads. And the final course, located on the top tier, are your sweets. These can be chocolates, fruit custards, really anything containing high amounts of sugar. As you eat from the bottom to the top tier, the foods become heavier and sweeter, which apparently is the way that you're supposed to eat, according to Rich people. The recipes we will need for this bomb ass afternoon tea are mini sandwiches, our savory course, blueberry muffins as our baked goods because I don't like scones, tarts or shortbreads for our sweets, and tea of course. <laughs> First, I'm gonna get started on the tarts, or you can call them shortbread bars, because they take the longest to cook. You can save yourself a lifetime of misery by only making one of these recipes, but I personally enjoy being overwhelmed on a daily basis, so I'm gonna make two different kinds of shortbread bar recipes. Raspberry and lemon. The ingredients you'll need are two cups of all-purpose flour, half a cup of sugar, one cup of vegan margarine, and half a teaspoon of sea salt. I'm not gonna be making two full recipes. I'm gonna be making half and half. So to clarify, I'm making one full batch of the actual shortbread part, which is the flour, the sugar, butter, etc. And then the fillings, I'm making half a batch of each. So the recipe that I'm showing you right now is the filling recipe halved. If you wanna make just one of these in a full batch, then you would double the filling recipe, but you would keep the shortbread recipe the same. I hope that made sense. <laughs> For the raspberry, all you're gonna need is a jar of raspberry jam, any kind. For the lemon bar filling, half a package of extra firm tofu, a quarter cup of lemon juice, or two to three lemons, one tablespoon of cornstarch, half a teaspoon vanilla, some lemon zest, another half of cup of sugar. This is not a healthy recipe video. And some confectioner sugar for both. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. In a blender or food processor, add the flour, margarine, sugar, and salt. 
I've melted the butter a little bit just to make it easier to blend. Pulse it until it's kind of crumbly. It should be a doughy consistency. You're gonna set aside about half of the batter and in a roughly eight by eight pan, put down some parchment paper and start pressing the dough into the pan. This is not pretty at all. After attempting this for five minutes, decide that you need a smaller pan and switch everything out and try over again. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think that's fine. Bake it for 18 minutes. <sighs> Timer on. While we wait for that to cook, we're gonna prepare the lemon filling. Add the tofu, the lemon juice, the sugar, and the zest to a blender and blend it well. Next, add the vanilla and the cornstarch and blend again. It should be a creamy consistency. Since I'm making this half and half, I'm only gonna layer in half of it with the lemon filling and the other half with the raspberry jam. Before you do this though, make sure the base is completely cooled off first. You're then gonna take the remainder of the shortbread part and crumble that all on top. Put the whole thing back in the oven for 26 to 30 minutes, sprinkle on some powdered sugar and serve. The first time I did this whole afternoon tea thing was last Mother's Day, and I actually made blueberry scones. And that was the day I realized I don't like blueberry scones. Honestly, they were pretty difficult to make and very time consuming, and I thought I had completely messed up the entire recipe, but my mom seemed to like them, um, so I guess it wasn't a total fail. If you are interested in making blueberry scones instead of blueberry muffins, then I'm gonna link that down in the description box for you guys to try. I'm also feeling pretty dumb right now because last night I was really craving blueberry muffins, and so my mom and I I made these last night and I'm not gonna make them again for this video because no one person can really eat that many blueberry muffins. So instead, I'm going to insert this imaginary clip so I can show you how to make this recipe. To make blueberry muffins in real life, you're gonna need one and a quarter cup non-dairy milk, one teaspoon apple cider vinegar, two cups all-purpose flour, one cup sugar, two teaspoons baking powder, a quarter teaspoon salt, one tablespoon cornstarch, one third cup of canola oil or Screw it. I'm just gonna put the recipe in the description box. If you want to see it, just check it out down there. As you can imagine, the mini sandwiches are our easiest recipe and we're gonna be making two different kinds, but you're gonna need bread for both, any kind of bread. An avocado, make sure it's nice and ripe. A cucumber, a red pepper, and some hummus. The two sandwiches we're making are a simple cucumber and avocado sandwich and a cucumber, hummus, and roasted red pepper sandwich. Seems self-explanatory, the one sandwich you're gonna add avocado and cucumber, and of course, cutting off all of the crust. And the next one, you're going to add some hummus, the cucumber. What I didn't show is me frying up the red pepper in a frying pan, but you can just add some oil and do that really quickly yourself. the dress code. This is very important as to create an overall aesthetic for your afternoon tea party. Be sure to dress like you are about to sing to woodland creatures. Or you can dress like a little girl who accidentally took hallucinogenics who fell down a hole following a talking rabbit. Or like someone who pretends that they can afford to shop at free people but in reality they just go right to the clearance rack and buy an oversized dress that they got for 70% off that they're literally never gonna wear in their life. If you wanna go one step further, get bangs because you were drunk and decided you wanted bangs last weekend. And voila, your perfect vegan afternoon tea. This is great for Mother's Day, for Easter brunch, and just when you wanna bribe your friends to come hang out with you. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed spending your afternoon with me and happy spring. Bye. Had a Montana laugh. <laughs> Shit's popping. <laughs> These actually came out really good. Never made them before. Ah! Have second roll. I love when things are a little undercooked, so they're still a little doughy and moist. It's yeah, I meant to undercook them. Fucker. All right, eat one where it doesn't fall apart. Let's try that. And cut.